Hello and welcome to my presentation today on the creation of a new city in Newcastle, PA. The factors of Newcastle's decline are present in the midst of its success in the years between 1900 and 1910. This is important to show the essential connection between the typical 1970s Rust Belt City decline narratives and the su success of earlier periods. Additionally, knowing this true identity can guide present urban revitalization initiatives. For Newcastle, Pennsylvania, there are three unique root causes for the economic success and decline. First is location functions as a connector. Developers and migrants built the city as a connecting point between urban centers and rural exteriors. Starting as an 1800s trade post, developers used cutting edge technology to transform Newcastle into a regional center for the interchange of manufactured goods and services with roads, canals, and finally railroads. However, this built environment of manufacturing plants, shops, and crossways was not conducive for later advances in the technology plants. So businesses began to move west during this period for more open land. Second, Newcastle attracted a transient immigrant population, especially in the wake of the 1890 McKinley Tariff. Local-based employers implemented industrial production and business strategies to expand businesses by utilizing this increased labor force. Newcastle came to dominate the American tin industry and thrive in other capacities. But between 1900 and 1910, population growth had decreased while the surrounding areas still witnessed steady population growth. Third, displaced entrepreneurs. Both a result of successful manufacturing businesses and a factor for the decline, the regional managers sold ownership of their business to far removed employers. Newspapers in 1908 evidence the strained political and social relationship between employer and employee entities. There, with employers far removed from the plant, employees worked in increasing competition with the machine. In the midst of this peak economic success are reasons for the Newcastle's decline. First, the connector identity as a center for trade and innovation was being slowly upheavaled. Second, a strong labor force, slowly not to be the case. And third, the will to leverage technology and business growth displaced the employer. Revitalization efforts that embrace this contradictory identity should drive economic rehabilitation and cultural preservation. In employing local jobless individuals and others for physical revitalization of Newcastle, the community can value the present inhabitants as inheritors of a real, complex, and continuous relationship with the past. 